Mopar fam, hope everybody out there is having a fantastic time. As you can see, we're at the end of the race night here and uh, got some time slips in my hand for the weather that we got today. Pretty hot day. We're in the low 90s here in Georgia. The DA was 3100 and some change today. Um, so 3100 DA. Truck is absolutely full weight. Uh, passenger seat is still in the truck. The back paneling, everything is in the truck completely. There's nothing removed from the truck. Um, so, so, so full weight, 3100 DA. And uh, today, the goal was to try to play with the trans brake a little bit and see, see how it does. Um, we got a lot to do with the rear suspension. You know, the rear suspension on Frostbite is absolutely pretty much all stock um, except for drop springs. We got the Beltec uh, drop springs in the back that I cut two coils off of, and we have Beltec rear shocks. Uh, so we don't even have, you know, shocks that we can adjust for the back. And hey, that suspension been, has been working great for Frostbite for a long time. Um, but when we're trying to use the trans brake, obviously we're loading that suspension harder, the tire harder, and everything is just coming down with a lot more power. And that's not gonna get it anymore. We're gonna have to start upgrading stuff. Um, we're probably gonna have to get some adjustable bars for the rear and uh, some adjustable shocks. We might do some uh, coil overs, uh, coil overs in the back. I might weld them on. You know, I'm kind of, kind of, still trying to make up my mind and see what is worth doing. Um, but we got to do something. But anyway, so we're gonna go over the time slip. So the first pass today, uh, like I said, 3100 DA, full weight. We didn't change anything on the tuning, um, except for we did change our meth injection because it's hot, and we're wanting to try to start adding a little more power. Um, we went from 50-50 meth injection to 100% meth injection. So we're running 100% pure M1 methanol right now. Now we didn't change the tuning. Um, so what that did, obviously, it fattened up our air, our air fuel ratio tremendously. You know, we were around the mid 11s um, on 50-50 meth with 100% meth. It actually has dropped the AFR down to very low deep 10s, around 10-1 to 10-2 is what it was running down the track under full power. Um, so obviously that slowed us down as well with the weather. Um, and we, we did that on purpose. We're just trying to see how the truck acts with the meth. We had to get some data so we can go back and start pulling out some fuel uh, to, you know, to compensate for how much meth that we have now and all that mess. But I will say pump 93 octane what 100% pure meth is what was running on, in the truck today. In the first pass, we tried to launch off the trans brake at, I, I want to say it was about 3,000 roughly RPM, and it spun. We did not get a good 60 foot. It was actually a 1855 60 foot. We ran a 12 2 at 111.78. And we're in the right lane right there. Don't know if y'all can see that, but that was the first pass. Obviously, I'm not very happy with that, um, but again, a lot, of, a lot goes into that. Biggest thing is the DA. 3100 DA, that's the worst DA I've been in all season this year with Frostbite. Um, so that's slowing it down a lot by itself. Other thing is we added pure meth and we have to tune for it, and we knew that, so it's running really rich. It's not gonna make as much power running that rich. Um, second pass, we did a 1876 60 foot i tried to leave on the trans brake again around that 3000 mark and we actually ended up going a little slower we ran a 12 6 at 108 and really not sure what happened there um besides the launch was a little worse and on top of that um trying to leave on the trans brake guys without having a two-step is super hard um, the only way to really do it is mat the pedal to the floor and just let go of the button. When you're trying to hold it, you know, say the gas pedal halfway down at like 3000 RPM and then you're holding the trans brake button, you're trying to do all that in sync. So you're trying to let go of a button and mash the gas pedal at the same time. And if that doesn't happen, say you let go of the trans brake first before you hit the gas pedal, then you're going to have this effect. It's going to it's gonna slam back and nosedive. Um, so,
So obviously, that's just kind of a real pain in the butt, um, not having a two-step. So the third run, I said, okay, let's try to run it on just the converter, foot braking it, and see what we can do in the heat. And we ran it just like we've been, but it's still running, obviously, at 100% math. We're too, you know, the, eight, the, air, the air fuel ratio is way too fat. Um, we did a 172 260 foot on foot brake. And then we ran a 12091. So we ran a flat 12 at 11156. So that was actually our fastest pass so far, just running right off the foot brake without the trans brake. Um, and the same tuning, we didn't change anything at all. Last pass, I said, all right, we're going to pack it up and go home anyways. So I'm going to get up there. I'm going to mat the gas pedal on the trans brake. So we held it at the staging. We, we held it at the tree at about five grand, matted the gas pedal five grand. I believe the boost gauge was sitting around the five, six PSI mark. So we had boost when we let go of the button. And honestly, it felt like it hooked pretty good. Um, it felt like it did like one tire rotation. And then I just felt it kind of just slam me. Um, if my son said the front suspension looked like it really popped up, uh, it felt like it popped up. So I don't know. I expected a lot better 60 foot, but I think that initial tire rotation of spinning before it bit cost a lot um, that was a 1714 60 foot but we did run an 11998 at 11250 so we did make it seem like you know a little bit more power that pass and a little faster time obviously because the 60 foot time did drop so here's that time slip uh, for the 11998 where I just hammered the gas pedal and dropped the trans brake right off the floor um, right lane again so there you go we're in the right lane and that was a trans brake launch with the gas pedal matted to the floor mat and like I said it actually didn't do as bad as I thought I expected it to go completely fully stupid and just start fishtailing all over the place um, I'll have to look at the video but it, it felt like to me like it did a tire rotation like a real quick tire rotation or two and then it just it hooked um, but that initial, that initial hesitation there definitely cost us. Um, and again, 3100 DA running way too fat on the AFR gauge because of the pure meth we're running right now. So obviously we're going to go back, uh, go through the data, go through the, uh, the wide band video that I took and we're going to start adjusting the fuel tables to compensate for the hundred percent meth. So we're going to be taking some fuel out where we need to take it out throughout the throughout the band and uh you know let the meth do what it needs to do so you know obviously we're trying to target around 11 and a half afr that's the goal with running 100 percent meth um so we just got to adjust for that the truck will be faster after after we do that this pass had 12 uh it had 12 to 12 and a half degrees of timing in it 3100 da full weight there you go that's what we got other thing we need to do is some maintenance as well. I've been running these plugs for for a good while now. Um, I want to say we put these plugs in right after we got the supercharger figured out. And we've been running a lot of the VP additive, fuel additive, which does turn your spark plugs pretty dirty over time. So I'm pretty sure it's time to change our spark plugs. We need some fresh ones. And uh, yeah, so we'll get some new plugs in it. We'll get uh, some just for the uh, AFR for the, for the meth now hopefully we get some better weather but I don't expect so for a while it's you know we're going into the middle of summer here soon so it's just gonna get hotter but the goal is get the rear suspension figured out get some new parts in there so that we can adjust everything get the meth injection and the fuel system tuned in good um, and then start getting the trans brake in there now oh I did leave out we were shifting at higher RPM today. We were shifting at 6,500 RPM. And obviously with the DA, it was hard to tell what I really gained or didn't gain. I feel like we gained power um, and some mile an hour, but with the 3,100 DA, it's hard to tell. Last time we came out, our DA was around uh, 2,000, I think. So kind of hard to tell if we what we actually picked up. But the truck felt like it was pulling really hard. So, again, guys, lots of stuff to do. And uh, we'll see 
we'll try to get it figured out and get it going down the track the way we want it to. So stay tuned. As always, guys, stay safe out there. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.